I want to salute all of you and thank you so much for being able to follow us and in these small captions where we have been addressing ourselves to things that are relevant for the season in which we are. In the conversation today and subsequently, I will be encouraging Kenyans everywhere to understand what the Bible says about what our attitude needs to be to those in rulership. And in rulership here, you're talking about the person who is the president, who is the governor, who is uh, even a regional commissioner or whatever position of rulership. And it is so, so specific when it addresses the issue of, uh, of rulership, even when it comes to the church context. In fact, in the church context, it does say that the elders who rule well are considered worthy of double honor, especially those who work hard at preaching and teaching. And that's very interesting because uh, a culture of honor is something that I think we need to relearn. There are some places uh, within Africa and other places where the issue of honoring uh, leadership is, is taken a step beyond what we usually do here, and especially in the country of Kenya. And it's very, very important for us to be very deliberate uh, about how we cultivate a culture of honor. One of the most um, unfortunate things is because even when I talk about you know, uh, children honoring their parents, there are people who take that lightly. But I usually tell people, it is so, so important that you adhere the principles of, of God, because the Bible says, honor your father and mother. It's, it receives a commandment that is attached to two promises that may be well with you and you may live long. Now, you can make a choice. If your parents are living, it doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are, the key thing is that you need to honor them. I usually tell people when kids grow up and they are away from home and they're fending for themselves, they do not have necessarily to obey everything I tell them. The only thing they have to do all the time is to honor me as a parent. And that goes also when it comes to even political leadership. Right now, we have gone through an election and we have a president who is sitting in office. I know a very big fraction of Kenyans never voted for him. But that does not excuse you uh, to dishonor him. One of the things I can say without fear of contradiction is that whoever is in office, whether I voted them for or not, I have been committed to honor those that are in authority. Because I'm a, a leadership student, I'm a leadership trainer, so I can't violate principles that I usually teach. So I want to encourage you, as we go on conversing this, think seriously what attitude are you having towards your president. Because he's your president, whether you voted him or not. You are governor, whether you, gov whether you voted for him or not. You're a member of parliament, you're a senator, you're MCA, the regional commissioner appointed by government. What are you, what is your attitude? And it is important for us to be committed. Lord, I th pray that you help us as we contemplate this issue about honor, we pray that you help us. We look to you and we trust you in Jesus' name. Amen.